I wanted to, you know, distance myself a little bit from this black metal movement kind of thing because I felt the same thing as you kind of said. You know, it was ch- I was felt a little bit shackled up, a little bit choked, and everybody was talking about freedom and individualism and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But did the opposite thing, you know. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time in the channel, hit subscribe right now. Einstein, thank you so much for your time today. I very much appreciate it. Um, we, As we're talking, we're less than a month from the release of fall. Um, so my first question is just going to be simply, how are you doing tonight? Thank you for having me. Um, I'm I'm doing pretty pretty good actually. It's a bit hectic these days with you know there's a lot of things going on at the same time and you know it's it's uh, it's a lot but it's it's uh, it's it's good stuff though. I mean yeah, it's yeah, yeah. fun stuff and all that. So it's it's um, it's awesome. The feedback yeah, yeah. so far have been great and you know everything is is uh, the sun sun seems to shine. So that's, yeah 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 that's good. yeah. Let's go straight into it. Um, a lot of people, myself included, put True North on a pedestal, um, which doesn't happen for a lot of bands that the 11th album at the time um, is is so well received. Well, let's be honest, a lot of people, a lot of bands that are out there that are that have been around as long as you have, people like to hear the first two, three albums, right? Um, hmm. That is not the case with you guys in the last album. Was, so well received does that for you um forget about influencing and what have you but does that add an extra level of pressure for you going into this new album or you know you are quite experienced you know that something like that doesn't phase you yeah i've been around for a while i, I would say but yeah no i i i tends to i mean i think maybe some that's some of my secret sauce in all this that i've never let this this outside world kind of impact my my writing in a sense you know i mm-hmm. i kind of um yeah i've always done that when when i'm in the writing mode i don't let anything you know involved with that or interfere with that or anything like that so it's it, it kind of kind of I you know my my creative bubble and all that stuff and I you know I I don't know I I've tried in some you know throughout all the years try to you know f- cling on to this very kind of basic idea this passion about making music and yeah, yeah, yeah. in in the start of it you know when I start out writing songs and stuff it's it's actually a very personal battle to me so I don't want anybody into you know into my soup in a sense yeah, so yeah, yeah. no, um, not not really. Of course, I'm excited about you know you, you know what's going you know what, what's going to happen with a new album and and all that stuff. And it's it's um, yeah, it's it's fun, it's great, and all that. And of course, getting great feedback is always nice. But actually, when I'm 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 in the work mode or writing mode, those things doesn't really really affect. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and I think maybe I'm kind of. You know, it's experience. It's the, I'm a mature man now. You know, I'm I'm not 19 anymore. I kind of I, I yeah, I, I found my my place in this yeah. this world, this this life in a sense. So I kind of just do my thing and and feel comfy with it. And as long as I feel comfy, strictly musical, I'm I'm good to go. As long as I think you you yourself already called fall in some way a, 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 an evolution or, or a step f- coming from true north um looking back now because i had a chance obviously to listen to the new album already in full not just the singles that have been released and there's definitely like you know there, there's a these two albums feel related in a way mm-hmm. um can should we now look back and look at true north going like that truly was the start of a yet another new era for the band uh is, is there some truth to that yeah definitely and in, 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 in to a certain degree i would say because i've always been very you know i i 
uh, you know, small details throughout the career and stuff like that. I like to tie the albums together. There is a kind of red line through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, definitely True North, and and then we, you know, the new album Fall is definitely a step further. It's definitely a, you know, a little bit broader horizon, and you know, all the stuff that I've said um, many times that you know we always try to push the boundaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that, you know, climb uh, another mountain, so to speak. Um, so yeah, there and, and yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've done it intentionally so many times. Let's say, for example, on on the Winter Trice cover, we have there is a small fragment on the cover. I don't know if people have seen it, but there is a small detail there, and that's a cover of Old Domain, for example. Um, I kind of just tends to like to put in a little bit. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some not Easter only eggs. musical, but also kind of visual and also lyrical kind of, you know strings in, into the whole thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah bind yeah. it a little bit together so so yeah uh, you know every album we do is um uh, is a step for builds on the previous uh, builds yeah. up and you know uh, another mountain and uh, you know bigger higher mountain so to speak and i have to add the uh, you know also the fact that i've been the last 10 years or so i've been been spending quite a lot of money and and time on you know establishing my own professional studio and my kind of master plan in this has been to at least as my role in the band to to marry i'm not just a guitarist and, and lyricist but also i try to bring more and more in this 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 producer perspective yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so i spent shitloads of time especially on the three last albums and actually just sitting in my studio here trying out different you know whatever it is guitar sound synth sound right right format. right 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 so it's it's it has been a kind of a yeah, for, for quite many years now, I've had a quite clear idea about also taking a more firm grip of, of the productions we do. Yeah, well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stroke your ego for a second, because um, I mean, you said a couple of things I want to go deeper into, but um, uh, just picking up on where you just left off with the production, I think that this is the best sounding album mm. of Borg Nakar ever, and I know that I mean. You take a lot of that. It's not only you. There is a team there. And you've got Jens, obviously, that has been oh, yeah. yet again. So, I mean, he's one of the best when it comes to mixing and mastering. Um, it, it, it sounds really, really good. It, it, there's a cinematic vibe to this album, like maybe even never before, maybe even more than, than the previous album. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, do you then when you're so close to that and you're so interwoven with what you do, do you have is it possible for somebody like you to take a step back and appreciate that? Like, can you do that or is that very difficult? It's kind of difficult, at least at this point. Uh, you know, I, I'm, you know, I get questions about, you know, the musical aspect of the things, but also the popularity, you know, meeting fans, doing big shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I have to admit at some point that sometimes I struggle to, you know, uh, grasp the whole, the magnitude of things, to be honest. Right. I mean, it's, it's, you know, when I set out back in the early days, I never, I, I was never, you know, maybe I'm a little bit of a weird guy, but living on the countryside and all that, but I, I was never into the idea about, you know, being on stage, being a rock star, you know, that that whole thing. I know a lot of kids do, you know, dream about that stuff. Of course, yeah. Um, and it's it's absolutely nothing against that, but, but I was always very kind of passionate about the music side of things. I was always, you know, whatever, you know, I, I've said it to my boys and in several interviews that, you know, for me, this starts with music and ends with music, you know, it, it's music, what I do, that is my craft, you know, mm -hmm. so, so, um, it has been a long journey and I try, you know, wh whatever I do in this, whether it's being a guitarist, lyric writer, or, you know, trying to also produce stuff, I try to improve, always take a step further. And I, I think, you know, that has also been a very important what can i say a basic plan about the band you know that we, we you know for, for me music is something that should live and move forward that should be there should be movement in music yeah 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 okay so, so, so uh, whether it's an album or whether it's an, an catalog or whether it's just a single you know so i always try to you know infuse the music with a kind of very lively and and almost like a human uh, aspect to it because you yeah, know yeah, humanity yeah. is the, the, per, the per, kind of perfection of imperfection in a sense you know so yeah. so yeah um i don't know if i honestly all get are able to grasp all this at this point yeah, 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 maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, later yeah. when i'm retired or something i can you know lean back and wow that that was that was a trip yeah, but, yeah for sure, yeah, for it's, sure. It's, uh, has been has been amazing and i and i you know i feel of course i feel privileged being in a situation now right. 
uh, and all that and you know being able to travel around the world play big shows and, and meet people and fans and all that you know that is absolutely mind-blowing um, mm -hmm. it is it is so so it's um, I feel like a lucky bastard You know, when I was listening to the album, um, like 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 a song like and, it, and that that song's already been released, Nordic Anthems, uh, or sorry, Nordic Anthem. It's a cool song, but it's also it could also be like an opening like track playing before the show to get the people like in the mood and build the vibe. It like does a great job at that, and it just when you listen to it, you know, just just instantaneously a movie starts, you know, flashing before your eyes and brings a brings. A, Builds an atmosphere with mm. that cinematic touch. Like, is that something that? Do you still have things like building a massive, you know, stage production show for a special occasion, and 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 really let the cinematic feel of that you sometimes do in your video clips really shine on, on stage as well? Is that something that's still in on your wish list? You know, yes, definitely. If you know there, there was a you know a, a, a real opportunity to doing stuff like that, I'm I'm a guy who you know when I do something, I, I do it kind of very well. I, I kind of one thing I, I I really dislike in this world is me mediocrity. You know, if you're gonna do something, do it properly. Right. Um, so so yeah, definitely. But but uh, I guess we need to you know. <laughs> <laughs> sell a bit more records and get a little bit higher i don't know but but you know yeah, such yeah, a yeah. production would be amazing of course being able to put up such a thing you know with with a much bigger production and all that but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's 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 you know the, the music business the metal business is tough you know and travel yeah, yeah. expense have exploded after the, the pandemics and so on and so forth so yeah maybe maybe at some point maybe one off one day or something like that but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll i guess we all need to you know keep a little bit down to earth still so an another thing that you said and i really liked it was like you know music has to evolve and has to be a living thing and 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 whether it's a song or it's a or a catalog i think you mentioned you know it changes and obviously you know people that have been following your career like i have you know have seen you evolve the, the music has evolved from mm. more what nowadays we would call stereotypical folk pagany uh, black metal to what it is today mm. and um i wanted to get your thoughts on on, on this because we see we've seen over the years some of the more prominent people in the world of black metal mm. truly escaping the stereotype which is seems hard because there are you know at its essence black metal should be about individualism and and being free but at the same time it feels sometimes that there's few subgenres that are so shackled to stereotypes and and expectation as black metal mm. you've successfully escape that mold and you know by by becoming more opening more to progressive elements and obviously we've got the clean singing as well as 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 the distorted vocals and all the kind of good stuff we've seen similar things with ishan and we've seen that with uh daikata falk for example over the years what i have my theories but what what is what what for you is the reason that we've seen some of these legendary acts now um i don't know if you are comfortable with that term but um being able to do so. Uh, we see so many people that started in raw underground black metal open up to still extreme metal, but with avant-garde and progressive influences. Mm. What, what's your take on that? You know, to, to me, this is, 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 is a very well absurd, by the way. I, I, I kind of fully agree with you. <clears throat> but I think it's, for me at least, I think somewhat of it has to do with maturity, actually, that, you know, mm -hmm. you, can, you can project and you can do music that is what can you say brutal dark and evil in a sense you know without the corpse paint and and i have to right. say that you know i've never you will never find a picture of me with corpse paint you will never find a picture or anything about you know i've always used my real name and that yeah. was actually some of my ideas back when i you know started to to play around with the ideas about this band in 94 93 94 or something 
that I, you know, I wanted to make my own musical universe and somehow I wanted mm -hmm. to, you know, distance myself a little bit from this black metal movement kind of thing because I felt the same thing as you kind of said, you know, it was, I was felt a little bit shackled up, a little bit choked, and everybody was talking about freedom and individualism and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But did the opposite thing, you know. When everybody, you know, at some point, everybody was dying their hair black and all of a sudden have spikes and stuff like that. And half a year before, everybody played death metal. Uh, so, so you know, it, it had was some changes there that, you know, I was kind of a little bit on the outside, maybe, a little bit part of it because it was a small community in Bergen mm -hmm. at that time. But I, I kind of, after a couple of years, I just felt this, okay, I have to, you know, break these shackles a little bit and do my own stuff uh, in order to fulfill my musical wishes. And, and um, you know, that for, that's why I kind of early on decided, I, you know, the band name is not tagged with anything. It's, it's a constructed fantasy name. And that was, you know, with intent because I didn't want, you know, 20 years after I'm being nailed to the wall and, hey, you have, you, you are supposed to play black metal. You can't do this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for example, and and the same with my name and everything. I always I had this idea that you know whatever's happened in the future, I want to you know stand firm behind this music or in front of it or on top of it, whatever you want. But but you know something, I I, I gonna do something that I can be proud yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, um, uh, yeah, die whatever. And 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 um, again, this all this kind of sums up to my very kind of maybe a little bit weird philosophy. But but for me. It's it's music is all about honesty in a sense, you know. It has to come from the heart. And yeah, it sounds a little bit cheesy, but you know, I don't want to force thing. I've never wanted to force thing. I never wanted to try to be something I'm not and all that stuff, you know. Um I live on the countryside. I yeah, spent yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. my spare time in the mountains, in the in the woods here. I basically live in the woods. So so you know, I kind of for me this is a life commitment. It's not just a career or a way to, you know whatever earn money or something uh, for me this is kind of a, a lifestyle and and uh, yeah as i said a, a life commitment yeah, 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 yeah. when it's comes to maturity i'm I, i'm honest about it you know i'm not the same guy as i was when i was 19 years old i have a different scope of things i have kids now i'm a father mm -hmm. you know things change along the line you know and and that is something i'm totally honest about i you know i have to do something in in musical terms different now than i did 20 years ago or yeah, 20 yeah, yeah, years yeah, ago yeah. yeah and i think some of maybe some of the same ideas i don't know you know you mentioned ishan and on ishan and all those guys you know I, I think i don't know they have to answer for themselves but i get, guess there is something with maturity and all this yeah, 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 of yeah. course we are a bunch of older guys now we we started out when it was like 16 17 18 years old and <clears throat> i know we are a bunch of you know pushing 50s <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 is it then maturity also it's, it's something that i really like about um your work and especially on the last album and we see this again on this album too and i think it's masterfully done especially in a song like um you know the, the moon song um i think on this album i think is my favorite song on the album so far um i really like it um just in this conversation you use a lot of metaphor and you use a lot of nature metaphor you said climb we've climbed the mountain a lot a few times now and yeah. <laughs> um you use that in your lyrics as well mm. and I wanted to get your thoughts on, I saw so many people review the previous album and some early reviews of the new album were like, oh, it's a love letter to, to his home country and to nature. But I'm like, sure, yeah, you could read or listen to a song like Moon and think about it's a moon, but it's you can dig so many levels deeper and there's so much metaphor in there. Um, given what you just said, like, is that... Is that sometimes for you like is is, is this, does that frustrate you that people don't go beyond like i mean obviously we know you live in the woods you like the woods you like the countryside mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily what your songs are only about no absolutely not i mean i've always liked you know when when it comes to the lyrical side of things to and also you know we've always been a little bit philosophical and again you know being being honest about stuff you know my natural expression is through through nature and stuff like that i guess i if i was born and raised in in a 
you know, in a desert or something like that. Maybe you know the thematics would be completely different about right. you know, whatever. So, so for me, that is is kind of just the way it is. It, it's being honest. It's being you know using you know. If I was a painter, I guess I would have painted mountains and 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 you know forests and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I guess I guess um, that's my natural. And now I've got your question a little bit. <laughs> no worries. So I was just wondering if like like I. Sometimes it feels to me, and this is maybe just me projecting, um, that people don't always dig deep enough with your music and don't get the full the, f the full experience, if you will, because they go like, oh yeah, it's a Norwegian black metal band singing about the mountains or singing about the forest. And it's like, well, sure, on the surface, but there's a lot more going on. And yeah. are you totally fine with that? Or is it sometimes, oh, it's a bit of a shame that people don't you know, take the time. I'm... I'm I'm honestly very fine with whatever, how, however people approach our music. But definitely, as as I was trying to get to my point, is that you know, uh, as nature, I try to make both music lyrically kind of. You can dig into it, you know. There, there is a there is a profoundness over the whole thing. There is detail. There is layers on stuff. There is you know. A lot of philosophical ideas sometimes even entwined a little bit you know mm -hmm. and and i i would say that we we are kind of a band that rather ask questions and invite people in to discuss rather than you know professing any any specific you know agenda or or meaning or something like that i've always tried to stay outside or beyond or above you know religion politics and all that stuff because it's not dealing with that even you know nordic anthem is not really you know about Nordic, you know, territory or limited right, right, right. borders of Norway or Scandinavia or something like that. That is not the meaning, you know. That, that's to me, that is a quite simply a song about freedom, you know, mm -hmm. um, the freedom of thought and all that stuff. You know, it's it's uh, so so. Yeah, it's it's. Um, I think you can, and that is what I try to do with my music. At least my my thought is that I want to make music. To, my music and lyrics have such a depth that. Um, that you can dig into it however you want kind of thing. You can find a lot of stuff there if you want to. If you don't, if you want to just have, you know, a few, a few songs as a, you know, background music, drinking some beer, fine. But if you want to sit down in a chair and really kind of fly away and dig into the introspective or whatever philosophical themes, go for it. I mean, we, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. kind of keep that door open. And I sometimes try to, you know, use this analogy as as um yeah let's say you walk through a, a forest or a mountain or a trip you're kind of familiar with but the thing is that every time you go through this path or this road or whatever it is it will be slightly changed there will be slightly new things to see there is different you know lighting there is different you know animals maybe there is different you know the times of the season so so each and every time even though it's a familiar path you walk there will yeah. all be uh, some new nuances if you get yeah, 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 yeah. and that is a kind of dimension again back to this my idea about you know keeping a music human that there is something to it that is kind of um this this perfection of human imperfection that yeah, there yeah, is, yeah. and also nature you know there is always something happening there is a new bird there is a new sound there is a new something going on um and that that kind of sensation is it, i try to you know uh, push into my music somehow that, that there is some there is there is layers there is details yeah, yeah. maybe not seen the first time or heard the first time you, you listen to the album but the second time maybe on headphones then you hear something oh that's something going on here or <laughs> you know so yeah, yeah, yeah i mean that is my kind of maybe a little bit weird ideas but 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 uh, that is how i approach uh, my music and you talk about but but the visual side of things i've also as a as a music lover myself i've always had a lot of wish I, what can I say? A visual, your music to me is very visual. When I listen to music, I get a lot of you know thoughts going on. I, I'm a very kind of easy to fly away on on you know thoughts or emotions or philosophic ideas or whatever you know with music. And I, to me, that is some of the really profound quality. Yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. That you can find some. Sometimes you know just wanting out other times you can get some some cuddling from being sad or other times you can just fly away into oblivion you know and and uh, you know i don't know uh, you, music is such a powerful 
thing in this world uh, and and not to forget unifying you know when traveling around the world and meeting people meeting fans very often you fa face to face and stuff talking with people and it's you know just amazing how yeah the music i do here sit here recording by myself in my yeah, 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 kind yeah, of yeah. bubble get out there and and has a um apparently positive effect on yeah people's lives out there that is that is maybe some of the most uh, mind-blowing thing of it all it's almost a bit emotional and very humbling in a sense well uh, i see and all your your fans will humble you more when you go out and all these shows that already have been announced, you're going to be busy. There's so many festivals that you've already announced. I will see you at Grass Pop uh, uh, as one of them. Um, I think it's clear to you by now that I'm a big fan of the new album. And, and I think it's a, a, an absolutely, absolutely fantastic, fantastic record. Um, thank you so much. I wish I, I could ask you 20 uh, or 20,000 more questions, I'm sure. Um, but I very much appreciate you having some time to answer these questions for me. I'm very much looking forward to all the fans discovering the full journey that you're taking them on uh, in just a few weeks from now. Um, and that's super exciting. Thank you so much for your time. And I wish you all the best with the release of this new album. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the support. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.